everyone and welcome. We're so glad you could join us today. I'm Malia Spears. And I'm Amanda Tate. And we're going to go over some more prophecy fulfilled by the prophet Timothy Dixon. February 11th, 2024. It shall come to pass that the earth shall spew out molten rock on Italy's shores. September 12th, Etna erupted, sending ash upward seven and a half miles. February 23rd, 2024. California will receive a visitation as the axe swings both ways. I will send rain on the just and the unjust, for the day of the Lord is now. Hundreds will be saved, and many will return to the Lord. September 14th, Ross Johnson held a meeting on the Santa Monica Pier. People ran and knelt as he opened the altar call. What a sight to behold! Sean Foyt held a praise and worship meeting in front of California's Capitol Building in Sacramento. Thousands came and actively participated in worshiping the Lord. August 30th, 2024. I'm fixing to shake the earth. There'll be earthquakes in the next little bit and on into the rest of the year. He said it's going to be abnormal. I'm going to shake the earth. The earth is in travail. September 15th, Cascadian Subduction Zone, 12,000, an unusual amount. October 6, 2023, a sign. There's a great change fixing to happen in the state of Pennsylvania. September 13th, the Pennsylvania SCOTUS announced no longer will ballots with late dates be counted. Huge win. November 26, 2023, woe unto you, Italy, for your days are numbered. September 14th in Italy, a storm hit like an apocalypse in several regions, bringing destruction. September 17th in Sicily, severe weather with roads closed. Over 10,000 had to evacuate due to heavy rains, flooding, and rising rivers. July 3rd, 2023. China will collapse on my word, saith the Lord. September 16th in Shanghai, Typhoon Babinka had devastating winds of 155 miles per hour. Strongest storm to hit in 75 years. September 17th, refineries are going bankrupt. September 18th, China has experienced disaster after disaster with earthquakes, two this month, and flooding beyond imagination. September 16th, 2023, volcanoes begin erupting all over the world. September 17th in Hawaii, it was reported that Kilauea erupted. September 18th, Guatemala, Fuego erupted. December 30th, 2022, uprisings in other countries. September 17th in Brazil, hundreds marched to support religious freedom. At least a dozen different religions were represented. August 5th, 2022, fixing to be catastrophic events God's fixing to do. Snow, September 13th in Austria, Obertaren, heavy snow. Flooding, September 14th in Czech Republic and Poland, both underwater. Five dead from flooding. Thousands of evacs. This is the worst flood in the history of Poland. North Carolina, unprecedented rain and flooding. Cars submerged up to the rooftops. September 17th in Thailand, massive flooding, nearly four feet of water over the land. The vehicles and bridges are gone. April 14th, 2022. Even the storms that come up from the ocean shall be great. September 18th in Singapore, hit with a typhoon, much flooding and damage. July 10th, 2022, the West Coast, because you have chosen to shed the blood of the children, the earth shall shake in a witness against your deeds. September 13th in California, the whole state is under an earthquake watch. September 16th, Southern California, 3.7, alert level raised. September 18th in California, a 1.0, northern end of Cascadian subduction zone, a 4.2. April 14th, 2022, even the storms that come up from the ocean shall be great. September 14th in Romania, Cyclone Boris has caused major flooding. Then on September 16th, the whole region of Europe was hit hard by the same storm. August 5th, 2022. Fixing to be catastrophic events, God's fixing to do. September 13th in Italy, heavy snow. Europe also experienced heavy snow the following day. October 18th, 2022, earth fixing to roar, earthquakes. September 13th in Canada, Port McNeil, preliminary 6.6. .6. September 15th, Hawaii, a swarm. September 16th, 
Texas near Midland, a 5.1 felt by most of the state. September 17th, Romania, Moldova, Bulgaria, and Ukraine felt the 5.5 quake. September 18th, in Madagascar, a 5.2. June 21st, 2022, economy suffers a great fall decline. September 17th, in California, Fremont, Flex Intermodel Inc. filed for bankruptcy. April 10th, 2021, disasters. September 13th, in Alabama, Sylacauga. Haitians are now in this town, only 63 miles north of Montgomery, Alabama. Locals are already meeting with officials trying to get answers and information. April 21st, 2021, plagues and pestilences. September 13th, Salmonella. Recalling eggs in nine states as 65 people are ill from it. March 15th, 2021, sickness in cattle in certain areas. September 10th, from Texas to Wyoming and across the U.S., cattle are dying. Some are very healthy. Vets are calling it a bacteria. August 14th, 2021, Cuomo's misconduct and blood of the innocents. September 12th, he had signed into law the infant killing after birth and was guilty of the nursing home deaths. Andrew Cuomo was grilled by the U.S. House panel due to the nursing home deaths. One remark, you'll never hold a public office again. March 25th, 2021, I'll rumble tremors through the USA that's never been. September 15th, South Carolina, a 2.1, then later a 2.4 near Elgin. August 14th, 2021, record breaking. September 16th in Japan now has an elderly population, 36.25 million. April 19th, 2021, death, fire, and hailstones on America. Fire September 16th in Texas, Houston, massive pipeline fire and evacuations. And now for some wonderful testimonies. A lady testified of a miracle after Prophet Timothy prayed for her. It was my right knee. It was about mid-afternoon, and I had been grocery shopping early that morning and ran a regular schedule when I returned home. I had absolutely no pain and no problem at all. Then finally, after tasks were finished, I had sat down to read news and to rest. Still no problem. Perhaps after half an hour, I decided to arise and to start another task. I was in pain, and it was taking all the effort I could put forth just to walk a very few feet. Immediately, I thought of Prophet Timothy and how he is so close to the Lord and can pray the prayer of faith every time. That in itself was a comfort. Then I thought, first I will try something. I had an audio clip of a prayer from him, so I placed the phone in front of my right kneecap and believed with all of my faith. I began feeling relief. So then as I went about my business, it could not have been over a very few minutes afterward till all pain was absolutely gone. And I've had no pain since. I do thank the Lord for the prayer that drove out the enemy that had attached to my knee. God bless you today and always, Brother Timothy. If you would like to share with us your testimony, you can reach us at testimonyreport at gmail.com. Or you can mail it to 1314 Westgate Parkway, Suite 5, Dothan, Alabama, 36303. We thank you all so very much for joining us. Y'all be blessed.